own brothers. We at the KBH have to emphasize the strong difference between Jew and Pharisee. You could use a number of words for these merchants. An ancient word for the meaning of merchant is Canaanite. A Canaanite then changed into the other words because there are several tribes or lines of people that were involved in this satanic way of being. And so we must not confuse the terms Jew with Pharisee. I think the modern biblical translations add to the confusion by using the word Jew because there are four or five meanings technically to this word are a part of we Europeans. They aren't probably the only white European line, but the Adamic line, the line from Jacob, and then straight through. The white people were in that part of the world and they made, like they always do, they made a huge difference. They are the civilizing force of the West, like the Japanese are the civilizing force of the East. It's also a major clue as to why I know that um, the people described in the Bible, um, the civilizers, and the people that eventually came to understand and establish morality, that's what Jesus Christ is all about. Aside from stomping Pharisees, that's what Jesus Christ is all about. That's the big clue that he's white, that Jesus Christ is white. The depictions of Christ from the very beginning are white. That's how that line goes through. Some confusions on the issue. Why do the Pharisees today call themselves Jews? Read St. John the Apostles, uh, Revelation 2, 9. You know, they, they're the fake Jews. They are fake. Uh, they aren't the real ones in that sense of the word that they're trying to use the word. What is the word kike? The word kike is a Christ killer. Uh, so when you come up with these Odinuts and these Satanists with covering their white skin with, with ugly graffiti and tattoos who are piercing and mutilating their bodies, drinking heavily or, or, or doing drugs or, or being queer, etc. These people who are trying to infiltrate our movement are trying to say that Christianity is somehow a Pharisee thing. And that's an extreme contradiction. You know, Christ cannot be his own killer. The thing that Christ did was, according to Kevin MacDonald, was create the first major organized movement against the Pharisees. We use the term Pharisee. You could also use the term Canaanite, Edomite, and Sadducee, several other terms for these people, but do not use the word Jew because it's confusing. In some sense, the people of that time were Jews. One meaning of the word was someone who was a resident of the Maccabean province of Judea, and that included all tribes, all people that were in that province created by that particular invading group. So that's where this confusion comes from. It's really better to just not use that term. Um, I'm not going to be like the like the blacks in, in Chicago that are chanting we was Kangs and things. That's not really what we're trying to say about ourselves either. The real Chinese, the Han Chinese in Taiwan, based their civilizing force, their civilizing tendencies on a book called Di Zigui. The classical education is based on this book. It's a book about honoring your parents and your ancestry. Yeah, it's true, a majority of Christians today do not get it, but the majority of Pharisees today do get it. They still hate Christians, no matter how much Christians are, are trying to love these fake Jews. These Pharisees really, really hate the Christians. Um, with this seething, seething hatred um, is, I think, the, the greatest hatred they have that you could see expressed in Talmud is for the Christians and Jesus Christ and our Virgin Mary. 
well that's the message for today that's about all i can say about it own brothers